Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing another pick a card reading. This is going to be about who is currently crushing on you. So this is pile number one. This is the Tarot of the Divine with Pyrite Crystal. This is pile number two, the Wild Unknown Tarot with um, Black Tourmaline. And this is pile number three. Um, and this is the Clear Quartz Crystal. So whichever pile you're drawn to, pick that pile and the timestamps are below. If you want to book a personal reading with me, that is also down below in the description box as also on the other things like my email and TikTok account. So let's get into it. Okay, hi pile number one. How are you guys doing? This is if you picked the Pyrite Crystal, if you were drawn to this one. So let's see who is currently crushing on you, pile number one. Let's see. So guys, angels and ancestors, who is currently crushing on pile number one? The people that have picked from your past, if you're not crushing on someone from your past, choose another pile. Because <laughs> you have some strong past energy here, okay? Um, yeah. Let's see what else. Now, it doesn't always have to be an ex, okay? This person, it could have just not worked out with this person maybe in the past, okay? And now there's going to be, maybe this person wants to come back towards you, okay? But it doesn't have to be an ex. Um, this person could be a Taurus, maybe a Libra. It doesn't have to be. Maybe you are a Taurus or a Libra. Ooh, okay, okay. The Three of Swords flew out. So for some of you, yes, it could be someone that definitely broke your heart and that you guys are in separation with, okay? So as I say, I will never telling you guys to go back to someone toxic or someone bad for you so keep in mind if this was a toxic relationship or a toxic person then you're probably better off without them okay but of course this is about who is crushing on you and you can do whatever you want but um this person could also be a leo sun moon rising venus or you are but um yeah this person wants to reconcile with you because they see that you're doing well you see that you're standing in, they see that you're standing in your power without them Okay, you're, you've been loving yourself, you've been doing the inner work, the outer work, whatever you've been doing, okay? And they see that you're glowing, you're doing well, okay? And they're still kind of heartbroken over this, they're still kind of going through it. They've definitely not completely healed from this just yet. And they are also really, really overthinking this whole situation with you, okay? They're really in their head, they really don't know what to do, how to move forward. They're stressed, they're worried, they're anxious, like... They are kind of going through it, pile number one. <laughs> Maybe um, you are too, but I feel like if this person decides to reach out to you or tries to reconcile with you, it is also going to cause you a lot of fear, a lot of stress and worry and anxiety. And kind of, kind of, you know, you're going to be kind of all over the place also. Um, this person could be at a distance from you. It doesn't have to be far away. It could be like 45 minutes to an hour. If not, this person might have a different ethnicity than you. Um, but there's definitely also a lot of emotional distance here through the heartbreak that was caused, through the separation that was caused. There's like an emotional distance and you might feel distant from this person and they're definitely feeling you also being distant. And you just kind of doing your thing, right? Being in, oh yeah, very independent, very much focusing on yourself and standing in your power, okay? You don't need this person, you don't need no man, you don't need no woman. You are standing in your divine feminine energy. Oh, wow. This person really feels like you guys could be like a power couple, okay? A lot of you do have some kind of soul tie with this person, but the emperor and the empress can be quite the power couple here, okay? And um, this person definitely also feels like the two of you could be in some way um, a power couple. This person could also be an Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. But um, I feel like this heartbreak and pain that was caused is like still lingering and someone's definitely not completely released it or completely healed from this heartbreak that was caused. Um, because like the two of you need to kind of bring an end to it. You guys kind of need to close out 
a cycle here to this heartbreak that was caused, right? And in order to have a new beginning and a fresh start, like if you really want this, then you know you guys also have to leave the past in the past. Yes, you should talk about it, but constantly bringing up the past will not do you guys any good either, right? Um, so I feel like you guys definitely have to go through some change and some transformation in order to close out those cycles in order for new cycles and new beginnings to begin. But this connection is definitely kind of going to make a turn, uh, a come around and a come back around if this is what you want. Okay, again, it's up to you. Continue to love yourself and stand in your power. But this person definitely wants to reconcile with you and they cannot stop thinking about you. They're, you're always on their mind. They think you're absolutely beautiful and attractive and sexy and passionate and free-spirited and you're caring and you're kind and you're nurturing and this person is missing that they're missing having your energy around they're missing you know that energy that you used to give them um if you you know if you always gave a lot to them and gave a lot of uh, kindness and you cared a lot about them you know they're missing that i mean duh <laughs> but um yeah they i feel like the thing is that the heartbreak that was caused here is just are going to be an issue so like if this person comes around like you might have not completely healed or you just haven't quite forgiven them right so there's definitely a need to also communicate and to kind of talk things through here and you're going to kind of have to make a decision about what you want if you want to move forward if you don't want to move forward but this person is definitely low-key crushing on you because you're an absolute empress so like obviously they're crushing on you like how could they not See what else we can find out about this person. Let's get these and these. Okay, sorry. Spirit, what else can you tell me about this person that is crushing on my pile number ones? Who's crushing on my pile number one?
could be a chef, if not actually as their job. They could just really enjoy cooking. Maybe they've cooked for you before, they will cook for you. Um, you know, they could be really into food, they really like to eat maybe, take you out to restaurants, good, good places to eat. Okay, this person could be into nightlife, maybe they like to party, maybe you met them at a club or will meet them at a club, but again, I feel like this is someone you know, pile number one. Um, yeah, maybe you guys, maybe you guys partied a lot together or will go out and party, you know, depending on Corona, but maybe in the past you guys partied or went out to clubs together, <clears throat> but this person definitely, oh yeah, see, party also on the bottom of the deck, this person might be quite the party goer and like to go out. Person could also be a Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. They could be in the music industry. They could just play music and instrument. Maybe they like to sing. Maybe they like to dance. Maybe they rap or they DJ. Okay, maybe some kind of music is um, significant to the two of you in this connection. Maybe you guys have similar music tastes, or you guys used to listen to music a lot together. This person might like to camp or, you know, be in the outdoors or maybe camping is significant. Again, you guys maybe went camping together, will go camping um, on a camping trip or something. Something about camping could be significant again. Okay, just take what resonates, like I already said. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing for you, pal number one. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting here. Um, that's what I'm picking up on. So let me know if this resonates with you. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Personal readings are also in the description if you would like one. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye! Hi, pile number two. This is if you picked the black tourmaline crystal. So let's see, pile number two. Who is currently crushing you? I want to know. Spirit guys, who is currently crushing on my pile number two? Is the people that have picked pile number two? Okay. Things with their head over their heart. 
you know, but they are mature, they're showing up as a king, but they just are very logical. You could be more emotional, they could be more logical. Um, but yeah, they need to find a healthy balance here, okay, between uh, within themselves and also within this connection. Um, if there was a walking away or if there's like a break or some silence or no contact, like there is going to be some kind of, you know, contact coming towards you, right? Once this person kind of figures out what the fuck they want and they're kind of more willing to open up, okay? They definitely struggle with, yes, being emotionally available and, and vulnerable. Um, but look at that. Wow, the Ten of Cups and the Hero Fall, like they really, really kind of see a future with you. Like this is like not just a crush. Like they're pretty serious about this. And if they decide to come around or they decide to communicate, like they really love you, okay? They really have feelings for you when this Ten of Cups here. Like they definitely see emotional fulfillment and completion and happiness with you. And they would wish to have that with you. They feel like you guys have some kind of soul tie. Like you guys are very compatible. There's chemistry, there's love, there's passion. I just feel like there was a walking away or something just kind of had to end, had to come to an end or there just had to be a break for for a while here between the two of you um again i'm not getting like an x energy i really just feel like maybe someone just kind of ghosted or or kind of got cold feet you know um if this is you or them but this person is pretty serious like they the king of swords like he knows what he wants like he doesn't really um like once he makes a decision, he's not really gonna change his mind, but like he knows he wants you, he wants this connection, like he sees long-term commitment, like marriage with you. Like if if you wanna get married, like this person wants to get married, like it's not just some shitty little crush, like they do want commitment, they just gotta figure shit out and start being more open and, and not so afraid to open up, okay? And if this is you, like same goes for you, like you guys need to stop guarding yourselves and guarding your heart so much. So let's see what else we can find out about this person spirit. What else can you tell me about who is crushing on pile number two? Who is crushing on pile number two? Okay, like a lot of tattoos, maybe only a few 
tattoos, but maybe they do tattoos, like actually, you know, design and do them. Something about tattoos. This person could be a Capricorn, you could be a Capricorn. This person could be a barber, it doesn't have to be literally. <laughs> Something about the barber could be significant or whatever, hairdresser. Maybe you're a hairdresser. Maybe this person goes to the fucking barber a lot. Or you guys have talked about something, you know, it can some in some way to you be significant. Um, if not, it could only be significant in the future. Keep that in mind. Maybe they like to cut their hair a lot, or they have recently gotten their, a new type of hairstyle, or you have. You have a very spiritual connection with this person. Like I already said, there's definitely a soul tie here. You guys feel each other. You guys understand each other. You guys are spiritually connected. You can feel each other telepathically. And I feel like this person in the past didn't quite feel this spiritual connection with you, but now they kind of are awakening to it. Roses could be significant to this connection. Maybe a tattoo with the tattoo card here. This is kind of scaring me now. <laughs> I know you guys don't care about my own life, but my ex boyfriend gave me a rose tattoo like a month ago, so hmm. anyways, roses could be significant. Maybe you guys like roses, um, they've given you roses before, maybe they're going to come in and give you roses, okay. Children could be significant to this connection, maybe one of you has children already. Um, if not, don't worry. I'm not saying you're going to have children or get pregnant. Maybe you have children with them one day. Like I said, if this could really be someone you end up with or have a long-term commitment with, right? So you could have children with, children with them one day. In the past, this person could have just also been a little bit childish again, not very mature yet, not really awakened to love and this connection just yet. So um, that could also be another thing that is significant. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm seeing for you guys in this connection. Let me know, pile number two, if this resonated. Please comment down below. I would love to know. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can click in the description box. And I really appreciate it if you'd like, share, comment, subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Hi, pile number three. This is if you picked the clear quartz crystal. So let's see pile number three, who is crushing on you? I got this new deck and it's so pretty, so I just have to use it. So let's see, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors, who is crushing on my pile number three? Pile number three. Ooh, this person could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or have it somewhere in their chart. This person is grounded, they're serious, they know what they want. They could be rather young. Ooh, so there could be an age difference, it doesn't have to be. Um, it can just be a maturity difference if it's not an age difference. You're a little more mature probably than this person. You could be a Virgo or a Libra, it doesn't have to be. This person, you're being, oh, you're being a little bit cold towards this person, a little bit defensive, period, as you should. They have so much passion for you and so much attraction and so much sexual attraction. If you guys haven't been sexually involved, oh, that could definitely happen. Um, but yeah, they want some kind of new passion beginning here. They're going to be coming in with passion and stability. It's been maybe taking a while for them really to reveal themselves and really reveal this crush to you. Maybe you guys have kept it passionate. Maybe you guys have already been sexually involved for some of you, friends with benefits or something, or just a one night stand or hookup, but, or that's going to happen first. But this person is taking some time. They're a little bit slow, okay? Someone here is definitely a little bit closed off and a little bit guarded more than the other person. This could be you. But this person sees you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as a wish come true, a dream come true. Or 
And this is also something that you've been wishing for. Yeah, more Aquarius Libra Gemini energy here. This person could be stalking you on social media. You guys could be stalking each other a little bit on social media, kind of keeping distance, watching each other from afar. But this person um, can be quite creative, or you are quite creative. Someone here um, has a lot of ideas, okay, very like young at heart, very free spirited a little bit. Um, interesting. Yeah, I feel like this connection could reach higher levels of commitment, but I feel like this person's a little bit afraid that that's not something that you want and that you're not very willing to open up to them and not really willing to have this commitment with them. Um, but I just feel like there needs to be certain change in this connection, or there has been some certain change in this connection. Someone is kind of going through a lot of change and transformation in their life right now. Yeah, and there's a need to kind of bring some cycles to an end here. The worst is going to be over. Okay, a lot of a lot of energy here. A lot of young energy. So someone definitely could be a little younger than the other person. But this person's very young at heart. They're very ambitious, very goal oriented. Very um, they have a lot of dreams and goals. Okay, there's a lot of people showing up here. So I don't know if there's a lot of people that have gotten involved in this connection before or are getting involved or will. So be a little bit careful about that. Don't let other people try to steal your man. <laughs> you no, know, but this could just be friends, it can be family members, it can be co-workers, I don't know. But some people might have a lot of there might be a lot of opinions about this connection. So be a little bit aware of that. But this person I feel like is maturing emotionally a lot more and they're trying to step into this King of Cups energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, they're trying to be more emotionally available, more emotionally vulnerable. They might have went through something in their past or you've went through something in your past that has been very hurtful and painful and now they're trying to find more balance within themselves and trying to work things out a little bit here. Um, same goes for you. But um, yeah, I feel like you guys can be some kind of power couple here, some kind of you know, strong dynamic, but there's also some obstacles and challenges, definitely. Again, if these are other people or just situations that are getting in the way, um, and someone is kind of closing themselves off here. And there is an also pretty immature energy, so I would say, like, someone just needs to grow up also a little bit more when it comes to relationships and commitments. Someone is definitely still kind of immature, okay? So let me put these to the side. Pull some more cards, pile number two. Oh, and pile number three. Sorry. Okay, pile number three. Pile number Why did I have a feeling that was going to come out? Now, for some of you, this could be someone that from your past, okay, that you're going to be reconciling with. Again, it doesn't have to be an ex, but we definitely have a reconciliation card here. This person, again, someone could have children, but I really feel like this has to do with the whole childish energy that I was picking up on. Like, someone could have just been very childish in the past. leads to, you know, kind of closing yourself off and whatever, being very defensive and guarded. But it's like spirit wants you to know that you shouldn't be afraid to love and that you should open yourself up to love if it's with this person or if it's with someone else in general, you know. You need to open up your heart. You've got to be afraid to love, okay? Because to receive love, you also got to open yourself up to love and love yourself, obviously, also, okay? And you need to just kind of be patient and trust in this situation. Patience is definitely needed here if this is something that you want, if you're waiting for them to reconcile. For a lot of you, I feel like this reconciliation could have already happened and a lot of you could already be talking to this person again. Um, or for some of you, it could just happen pretty soon. And if it's not like a past person, I just feel like you guys have a 
some kind of past life connection, like you have a strong connection to this person. You guys probably knew each other in a past life. Okay, let's see. Spirit, pile number three. Who's question on pile number three? This person could be a Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person could work in the justice system, police officer, lawyer, you know, whatever. But if it's not, um, I mean, some of them could have even been incarcerated, okay? That's maybe only for a few of you. Um, if not, I feel like something else about, like, crime shows, and you guys like to watch crime shows together, or someone's really into crime. Yeah, maybe even, like, crime books, you know, um, thrillers or whatever. This person could like to read. If not, I just feel like, again, they're quite intellectual. You can have intellectual conversations with them. They might have, you know, studied, like maybe they have a very high degree or something. They could be very funny. I feel like this person is going to make you laugh a lot. Okay, like they could be like the class clown and they just make everyone laugh around them and they always got to pull some jokes. Could enjoy the nature, the outdoors. Maybe the two of you will go outside a lot, um, hike, walk. Or maybe they live in the nature, or like live by the nature in the countryside. Okay, and yeah, this person's definitely very. Pa uh, this connection is definitely very passionate, which I already said. Right, there's a lot of sexual attraction here. Okay. Um, and it's kind of going to kind of be like fireworks, a lot of sparks here in this connection. Uh, maybe for 4th of July, significant, or some kind of holiday, whatever your national holiday may be. Some kind of celebration where there's fireworks. Maybe you guys will go and watch fireworks together. Something about fireworks could be significant. Yeah, I was saying, like watching movies, crime shows, things like that. You might go on a lot of movie dates with this person. Maybe one of the first dates is going to be a movie date. Okay. This person could be an Aries or Leo an Aries. Military. Yeah, someone could have been in the military. You or them. Maybe you guys both are in the military and meet in the military. And that's also a possibility. Just take what resonates. Some of the things might only resonate with you in the future. Okay, um, so somebody could have served in the military or the military is somewhat significant to this connection um, in any other way. If you shape or form, you might know. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have for you, pile number three. Please let me know if this resonated. I would love to know. Comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. I would really appreciate that too. If you want a personal reading, it's down below in my description, in the description box. And um, yeah, I hope to see and hear from you guys soon. Bye.